I've been to most state capitals around the country, and most of them don't hold a candle to ours. Our forefathers and our foremothers were not afraid to think big. I mean, they had a big, bold idea for building this amazing structure in 1905. I want the people to know that this is the people's house. It belongs to them, it's here for them. It was the third state capitol building for the state of Minnesota. It was designed by Cass Gilbert, an architect that was local to Minnesota. Cass Gilbert is world renowned for his architectural style. He went on to design a number of other state capitals and the United States Supreme Court building. It is one of the most beautiful capital buildings in the country. I mean, it's a Cass Gilbert building, it's a state capital. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the first really, truly comprehensive restoration of this building since it opened. There were integrity issues with the, with the capital itself, and it was important that we come together and address them was a real safety concern in some locations. And a good example of that is sitting with me. I brought a sample here. This is one of the features that we were able to pull off basically by hand. With a couple of light hammer taps, these were just dropping right off. Tens of thousands of kids visit the Quadriga every year. When you start to recognize that these are some real serious potential life safety issues, it was literally crumbling with marble falling off of the outside, the exterior of the building. And inside, the lights didn't work all that well, and there were issues with plumbing. I used to joke that I just was hoping for indoor plumbing in the state capitol. A little bit funny, but the reality was the building had just completely moved away from what it needed to be in terms of its functional needs. The dome was leaking terribly. We had a lot of water infiltration. It was starting to impact some of the interior finishes. There are murals and artwork and spaces that I have walked through for years and years that you never, you never really noticed. Whether it was from smoke or soot or dust, there was a lot of damage and deterioration. We could see paint peeling. We could see cracks in the walls and the ceiling. We tackled this from the ground up. We were in here on hands and knees, in shafts, in attics, in the basement. The biggest challenge was really the fact that we had to restore this incredible monument of a building while at the same time bringing in all the engineering and the technology to seamlessly integrate into this building to have it last and perform for the state for the next hundred years. The project was intended to be a restoration project to bring the building back to its original character. We still wanted people to come up and be able to look at the building and enjoy it as a whole, not to see the repairs or not to, to see these concentrated efforts. Somebody said to me that when we first came back in the building that we were seeing the building like nobody had seen it since 1920 because for decades there was cigar smoke and dirty air in the building and it completely covered so much of what makes this space so beautiful. I think the probably the most beautiful room in the Capitol is the governor's reception room. The detail and craftsmanship that went into that room, the artwork, the Civil War paintings that are in the governor's reception room, I think are just absolutely fabulous. The public space is the thing that I would be the most proud of. The public space in general is a much more functional space for Minnesotans to come to the state capitol, to have places to meet their legislators, to access the democratic process, and to spend time at the capitol. We hope that this encourages people to come and, and use this building. Well, the rotunda is always to be the center point of the Capitol, and of course the golden horses up uh, above. I think it's just a magnificent setting, and I you know, go drive by at night and it's lit up. I just, uh, I still get goosebumps. For me, that's a real favorite in the restored Capitol besides the courtroom, is looking at the photographs of the workers. They just did such a great job. It was a heroic effort from, from day one, not just for the architectural and engineering team, but for the contractors who had to do what they had to do to pull this off in the time frame. 
We restored the Capitol's structure, its function, and really its beauty, and restored it to one of America's most beautiful public buildings. This is $310 million of Minnesota taxpayers' resources that were put into this restoration. It was in desperate need of that restoration. And so I really want to thank the people of Minnesota. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I will say that my expectations were blown away. The skilled craftspeople that worked on the building did an incredible job of preserving the history and also making it much more usable for the public. What the governor and I want people to appreciate is that this is their building, it is their capital, and we want to invite them in to appreciate its beauty. This was an amazing blend of a great batch of truly committed people to, to get a project like this done. This building is now, thanks to the work that has been done, it's going to live on for another hundred years. This is your capital, this is your government and your country, and we're proud of it. I hope you will be proud of it as well, and we'll pass it on even better to future generations.